In Activity 4, Shadows Change Places, students go outside and observe that shadows change over time. They first record the changes in a shadow during the day and then infer that some shadow changes are caused by changes in the position of the sun. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 4, pieces of large blue chalk, pieces of large red chalk, pieces of large yellow chalk, assorted chalk. You will also need to provide small stickers. To prepare for session one, select an outdoor area where the students can make chalk drawings on the pavement. This activity must be done on a sunny day. Try to choose an area that will remain undisturbed. Each team of two will need a piece of blue chalk. To begin session one, explain to the students that the sun is a star the earth moves around and that it is the light source for making shadows outside. Ask students, if you are outside on a sunny day, do you think your shadow will look the same all day? Accept all ideas at this time. Early in the day, give each team of two a piece of blue chalk and take the class outside to the paved area. Have the students stand with the morning sun to the left side of them with their arms at their sides. Warn the students not to look directly at the sun as doing so can cause severe eye damage. Stand beside them so that the morning sun is also on your left side. Then extend your arm and point to the sun's position. Ask the students to note how far up you are holding your arm. Put your arm back down and ask students, which side is the sun on? As students respond correctly, place a sticker or stamp on the student's corresponding hand. Next, standing in this same position, have team members trace each other's feet and shadow with blue chalk. After the students step out of their feet, write their names beside the feet. Back in the classroom, use a blue marker or chalk to write the word morning and draw an outline of two feet above the word. Tell the students that this shows the place where they stood outside. Ask students which side was the sun on. If the students need prompting, remind them that you put stickers on their hands on the same side as the sun. Ask students, does anyone remember what position my arm was in when we were outdoors? Move your arm up and down until the students tell you that it is positioned at the correct angle. Draw a dotted line from the feet to the place that represents the correct position of the sun in the sky and add the sun to your picture. To conclude session one, have the students remove the stickers from their hands. Leave the drawing for use in session two. To prepare for session two, each team of two will need a piece of red chalk. This session should be conducted at midday or near the time when the sun is at its highest point in the sky. To begin session two, give each team of two a piece of red chalk and take the class outside around midday. Have the students stand with their feet in the outlines they drew that morning. Stand beside the students facing the same direction as they are and extend your arm so that you are pointing directly to the sun's position. At this time of day, the position of your arm should be fairly close to your head. Ask the students to remember the way you are holding your arm because you will ask them about it later. Have the teammates again trace each other's shadow, this time using the red chalk. Next, instruct students to step out of their feet and compare their two shadow outlines. Ask students, what happened to your shadow from the morning to the middle of the day? Students should suggest that their shadows changed position. Then ask, do your two shadows look the same? How are they different? Students should note that they are different in places, are different shapes, and one is longer than the other. Back in the classroom, write middle of the day in red under the header morning. Point to the drawing you created that morning and tell the students you are going to show the sun's place in the sky when it is in the middle of the day. Ask students, does anyone remember what position my arm was in this time? Move your arm until it is positioned at the correct angle. Then draw a dotted line from the feet to the place that represents the correct position of the sun in the sky. 
At this point, add another sun to your picture. To conclude session two, leave the drawing on for use in session three. To prepare for session three, make a copy of activity sheet four for each student. Each team of two will need a piece of yellow chalk. To begin session three, give each team of two a piece of yellow chalk and take the class outside to the same location, this time in the late afternoon. Arrange the students so that they're standing with their feet in the outlines drawn that morning. Stand beside the students facing the same direction as they are and extend your arm so that you are pointing directly to the sun's position. You should be extending your right arm this time. Then put your arm back down and face the students again. Ask students, which side is the sun on? As each student answers correctly, place a sticker on each student's corresponding hand. Tell them to leave the stickers on their hands and again, instruct teammates to trace their shadows, this time with yellow chalk. Then, tell students to step out of their feet. Ask students, what happened to your shadow from the middle of the day to the afternoon? Students should suggest that it changed again. Then ask, how are your shadows different? Students should say that they are different in places, they are different shapes, and there are differences in how long they are. Back in the classroom, write afternoon under the middle of the day heading in yellow. Ask students, which side was the sun on? If students need prompting, remind them that you put stickers on their hands on the same side as the sun. Ask students, does anyone remember what position my arm was in this last time? Again, move your arm until it is positioned at the correct angle. Then, draw a dotted line from feet to the place that represents the correct position of the sun in the sky. At this point, add the third sun to your picture. Remind students that they already notice that their shadows change during the day. Ask students, what changed during the day besides the shadows? Students should reply that the sun's place in the sky also changed. Then ask, why do you think your shadows changed from the morning to the middle of the day to the afternoon? Students should be able to conclude that the shadows moved and changed because the sun's position in the sky changed. Next, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 4 to each team and ask students to circle two pictures where the boy on the sheet has the same shadow. As you review the students' answers with them, make sure students understand that the shadows in the other four pictures would look different from one another because the sun is in different places in the sky. To conclude the activity, return all chalk to the kit and clean the chalk off the pavement. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.